Hello everyone, my name is Nerd Builder, and I'd like to welcome you back into another episode of Mine Colonies. I hope you're having a great day so far. So, you could probably tell that the world here is looking a little bit different <laughs> from the last couple episodes. The sky looks very blue and with very puffy looking clouds and there's shadows now and the lighting just looks completely different. So I've updated the list I keep below and excuse the glitch. So one of the, the Oculus mod um, has a bit of a glitch here that I guess that they're working on um, there. But I updated the list below to include, you know, a bunch more mods that I have installed, um, including a shaders mod. And then you'll also notice on the top left dish of the screen that there's a bar there that is blue and you know orange orangish reddish um so i also installed the survive mod and it's definitely made things a lot harder we actually died <laughs> um from overworking so you could see also on the bottom that there's little lightning bolt looking things and a uh, water drop things so we now have to ensure that we are drinking water and that we're resting um and if the bar drains down, we do have to like essentially almost like relax for a bit um, to get the bar back up. But it does recharge with um, sleeping. So, it, you know, if you're doing a lot of an activity, it can definitely tire you out and slow you down. So I figured we would give it a shot to see how it went. Um, the thing that was difficult was, you know, we're, we're just heading into fall, as you could see on the leaves behind um, in the summer. I could not put my armor on without getting excessively hot. And as the bar drifts more over to the right, um, it's very faint, but you could see a little green box um, that's just by the line there. Um, if it goes to the right of that line, we do risk getting like essentially like heat exhaustion um, and you can die from that. So it's something that you have to keep in mind. And, you know, we're in the fall now and I have all the armor on. And while we're a little warm, um, I haven't had... Uh, bad issues with um, heat unless I'm inside so but yeah so there's a few different mods on the bottom or um, there so I've updated the list we've also updated now the mine the minecraft 1.18.2 I know like for the longest time I didn't um, because initially mine colonies wasn't compatible with it but now it is so it you know I decided to upgrade I know that 1.19 is going to be coming out soon so we'll definitely look to get that upgraded when compatibility for all the mods comes out so probably if i would guess a few weeks after then but we've been busy again on some of the live streams this week uh, we finished a university upgrade um from the from the last time um there as well so the university has like a bunch of new research items you know i had finished it up right before the other episode and you know we we finally upgraded our warehouse and our couriers hut down here up to level two um you know which i've been meaning to do so with an asterisk for the reason that i i built a house because we need to be able to recruit another person for today's build um there but the, um, with the exception of this new wooden house that I put down here, so this is kind of turning into a, a little bit of a residential area. So we'll probably try to fit another house in over here um, as well as we're getting, we get kind of close to the border, but we should be able to fit another house in eventually. But with the exception of um, this house here, which will hopefully be upgraded sometime during one of our live streams this week, um, all of our builds are now upgraded to level two and it, you know, it's something that I, I will say, like, I'm, I'm happy that we've been doing it and it, it's, um, you, you know, we're making, we're coming a far away here. Um, we're going to have to eventually upgrade our builder's hut up to level three. Um, so we can start going up to the third level. And I'm, I'm sorry, that is very bright <laughs> when you're looking directly at it. The one thing I will say of note, um, especially as your county starts to, you know, grow, because again, right now we have 12 people and we're about to go up to a 13th, um, as soon as someone occupies that house. But, um, we've had some pretty serious raids. 
Um, this week, unfortunately, I died twice. Um, the one from the heat exhaust, or from the like overworking exhaustion, and the other one being from a huge pirate attack uh, that had happened during one of our live streams this week. Um, it was a, in, it actually just happened before when I was doing some work uh, building the house off stream uh, or off like the video or the stream. Um, we had another massive pirate raid, and this time it came from the southeast. But the the two times that we've had pirates, and you can see right now because we're indoors, so we'll have to take our armor off here, and that'll cool us down right away. So let's sleep. Um, but we've had two massive pirate raids, and the pirate and the pirate raids had four spawners on each one, so it was quite a battle. Um, we actually lost one of our guards, Kane. Um, in battle earlier on, and then we lost Kane's replacement, Cameron, as well. Um, so now we have a well, we have Branson, and we also have a new guard now as well. So, um, you know, something to keep in mind because really we need to start maybe fortifying our defenses a lot more. Um, because you know these attacks are getting bigger and bigger, and it's it's starting to become. Um, like an issue because again like it's it's too much it's a lot for me to handle myself and then you know again the guards get overwhelmed too when there's you know is again we had probably upwards of, a, of about 15 to 20 pirates so that had got here um so it, it does become a definite challenge but i guess this is a good transition into um well like i was saying i i wanted to I want to focus on security and upgrading um, security, so we're probably going to look to put up a few extra guard towers and a barracks. But today, um, which I think we're going to do the barracks in the next episode, but today we're actually going to build a hospital. Um, I debated back and forth what I wanted to do for this episode, if I wanted to do the barracks or if I wanted to do the hospital. And my decision kind of got changed because I was leaning towards the barracks because we had like a massive influenza outbreak where I think pretty much everyone got sick and about half the people got sick a second time like right after too so it, it took a lot for me to like <laughs> have to run around and check on everyone so I figure now is a good time to have a um and so sorry about the about the glitch there the little lines and that but um, I figure today is a good is a good day to have a hospital built because that way we can just have people um, seek treatment when they need it um, there. So I, I think that'll be really good. So that way, if we're off and someone gets sick, we don't have to worry about it because they I believe they can, you know, die from the sickness because they do lose hearts um, when they are sick. So it's just something that, you know, it's going to be a little bit more of a peace of mind that they can just go get treatment when they're not feeling well. And that, so that's going to be our build today. I think I have an area picked out. I think we're fine. We're going to, we haven't done much building like up in this area, new building anyways. We've been branching off down that way and over that way. Um, so I think we're going to try to slot it in here if we can fit it. So we'll have to see how big. Um, how big the the actual build is at level five and I might have to expand the this off the coast or like the shore a little bit more here but I just admire the like the shaders I think it, I think this looks great and the water looks great the sky looks great like it's just beautiful I'm a, I'm a huge fan of it definitely recommend it like I said the only potential issue right now are the the lines um there but it's um it's something that they'll hopefully be able to uh fix there so but yeah, so let's go ahead and craft the block. Of course, with the hospital, it requires a block. And we'll need a carrot there. And of course, our build tool. And we get the hospital block. So let's head on over here. Let's see how big this thing is. If it's too big, we'll have to find somewhere else for it. All right. And there's the hospital. I'm thinking we're going to go with a stone one. So the level one isn't that big but how are we looking at level five okay actually this oh okay great this isn't that big uh just be mindful of the edge here oh this is perfect okay this isn't too big and you can actually see on the bottom oh look at that so a new child keegan ale or ale ward i'm not sure we have someone with that last name um 
but we have a new child, so excellent. So that we'll have to go take a look at his um, stats here, Keegan's stats. But okay, this is the hospital at level five, and um, still leave some room over here, which is great, you know, for like a street or something in between. Um, let's see, maybe we'll, maybe we'll line this up up here because I, I do kind of want to keep the coastline. Um, to the extent that I can, because I think it'd be kind of cool to maybe put like a park or something overlooking the coast there. Um, and that's, so that's, that's what I was thinking. So I'm just trying to, let's just try to line this up. Nope. There we go. All right. So that's like the extent here. So I was, I try to line that up because eventually when we put a road in here, that way, everything's kind of mostly lined up um to the best that we can do so i think this should be okay um so this will be at level five so obviously that's a, it's a massive build but let's take a look at level one here and okay great so it doesn't look like maybe it won't take anything anything too much you see a red bed in there and great we still leave some room back here for some stuff too um i don't know if we could fit a how oh how, how far back does this come with level five Actually, it doesn't it doesn't come back? Okay, so it's not so it's not really like the biggest the biggest build. Okay, it looks like it'll probably go up more than anything. So maybe we could put another house back here or something too. Um, we'll have to see. But all right, yeah. So this works out perfect. I, I felt like this is a good area, just kind of having it like in the town center here across from the university. So let's um uh, let's check that off there. Perfect. And let's take a look here and see what we're ultimately going to need here. So, okay. Furnace, cobblestone wall, white wool, glass pane. I will need a banner, crafting table. All right, so nothing red wool. Great. So no, nothing too bad. Um, this stuff's definitely all obtainable um, easily. So, of course, what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to cut out right now and we're going to do, I'm going to do some... Uh, resource gathering. Uh, we'll take a look and see what Maddox has. We'll check back in as the build starts. You know, Maddox has a lot of stuff now stored in the warehouse, and I've been adding to it when I can. So it kind of streamlines things a little bit. There's certain things like obviously the red bed I'm going to have to craft or red wool, um, and then probably some stone bricks and whatnot. But other than that, like nothing, nothing too bad. So what we'll do is we'll cut out right now. Um, I'll get, I'll gather the materials and then as we, um, as we start the, uh, build, we'll check back in here. And then of course we'll take a look at the final build and I don't know if we'll have a worker to, um, to staff. I don't know if we'll have a worker to staff, um, the hospital right now until Keegan grows up. So we'll have to take a look and see, because again, like I'm assuming we're probably going to need someone with, um, like some like maybe intelligence or something for this so we'll take a look and see you know who might be the best fit and maybe we'll have to move some workers around again so all right stay tuned and we'll be back in just a second and we're back so as you can see maddox has already started he's had some of the material i've been gathering some of the things that he probably wouldn't have had um so i'm just waiting to see if he needs anything else right now um, let's just take a look. He needs one white wool, two racks, two spruce door. Okay. So not too bad. So let me, do I not have wool on me? I must've dropped it somewhere. I, um, I made a cake very quickly for, um, some research. <laughs> Apparently cake, um, leads to research. Um, there we go. One white wool and we'll need to make, do I have any room left? I do. My inventory is getting more and more, uh, full as we as we go here and all right i might have to clear some space do I, do I have any yeah we're definitely gonna have to let me drop the eggs in here we have stuff everywhere uh let's break down some of these spruce um logs there all right we'll need to make a door there's some spruce doors there so i'll make him some extra we'll give him been giving them some extra so because again spruce doors have come in handy and oh we can see maddox running back to the builder's hut here so let me just drop these off and then what we'll do is we'll cut 
back out. Oh, and I just have to make two racks, which we could do that very quickly. So let's just, um, if I have, um, I'll have to make, make some nuggets very quickly there. And then we will make a rack. There we go. Great. Okay. We do have space. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, why won't it, um, I see. I'll toss out the sword very quickly and you know, it'll just be momentarily. I got to clean out my inventory and we'll put that there. Oh, he must've went back to the, to the job site. Um, let me, let me run and get, let me just run and drop this off to him and then we'll get our build tool back. Oh, and it's starting to rain, of course. Oh, and he's not even here. Um, okay. Do I have any room in here? No, but we are really like, we really need, uh, space. So let me just, let me just run in here. I didn't hear any thunder, but let's, um, just double check here. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. So let's, um, let me try to track him down. I guess like Maddox is up here. I would think let's check our map. Yep. He'll be coming down so we can give him the rest of the stuff that he's going to need. All right. And just a rack. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So I'll, I'll keep tabs on him to see if he needs anything, um, anything else. Did I pick it up or did it despawn? It might have despawned. <laughs> that was quick. Um, all right. I think I have a backup build tool uh, somewhere. So, all right. What we'll do is we'll cut back out here. Oh, Maddox comes back. Stone bricks. I have that there. Okay. So we'll cut back out again, um, you know, as I kind of run back and forth uh, with Maddox here, make sure he's got everything he needs. And we'll take a look at the final build. So the, the build will be done the next time we cut back in. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. And we're back and we have a brand new hospital, which is looking very, very sharp. And it didn't, didn't take like a ton of material. Maddox had a bunch of it already. And the good news is I could see Keegan walking around here that Keegan has now grown up as well. So yeah, this is pretty much the size of it. So it fits in like perfectly, uh, right here, which I, what I was hoping Maddox did a great job, uh, did pretty fast and you could see in here. So pretty cool design and that I like how it's like open at the top there on the tops. And it, I thought this was kind of cool too. It's like one of those, you know, the, the, um, like drapes or the curtains that they put around like hospital beds and that, Oh, Oh, okay. I thought I saw a flash of lightning. Um, but yeah, so looking very great. So really quick and terrible time for it to start raining, but let's, um, I think Kagan's actually going to be pretty good, um, for this. So I think we're just going to hire him and give him a chance, um, to, you know, work here. Oh, and we already have our first person, uh, that showed up, um, Oh, he needs a, wow, he needs a lot of stuff. Dandelion, kelp, and poppy. Wow, okay. He's got the measles, so he'll stay here. Um, And that's, so I guess we'll have to maybe work on getting some of this stuff. And, oh, here comes our, <laughs> I was told that he kind of had that um, plague-looking mask um, on. So I guess that is, in fact, true. Um. I didn't hear any thunder or anything. So I, I think I have some, um, do I have kelp somewhere? Here we go. So I think we'll just, we'll give, we'll give, um, a poppy and then dandelion, which I think we do have a dandelion somewhere in here. Uh, we'll probably have to give, uh, Keegan. There we go. I'll, I'll, I'll just give him and we'll give him a whole stack of poppies too. We have enough from our, iron farm um that dropped down so we'll probably have to give him like a bunch of everything i'll probably just give him the carrots and the potatoes since those are so you know often but that's really cool that they come you know that they he already came here all right 
16 kelp, 16 dandelion. Well, that's what he's going to have for now. And then let me also, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him potatoes and carrots because I know that's part of the recipe. Okay, so he's healing up. We'll have to keep that in mind, but yeah, so already, already a um, hit. Our first patient, so great timing there. And um, <laughs> I, I would admit that it'd be kind of scary seeing the doctor walk in like this, but I guess, you know, Keegan will now permanently have a plague mask on. Um, but we have a hospital and, you know, we'll have to keep a lookout for any other materials that we might need. Probably we'll need some more dandy lines, um, you know, which then might be the hardest to get, but we can, you know, we have an ocean right there so we can get enough kelp and, like I said, with the, um, I'm just going to give him all the poppies. Um, he can have everything. So, yeah, he'll have a good amount. So, that's the hospital and already paying off, I guess, because, again, he's curing him. And, like I said, like, this is great because that way, you know, we're not going to have to worry about, you know, running around to check and see how everyone, if anyone is sick and if we have to cure them. Now they'll just come here when they're not feeling well. So, that's why I chose this one over the barracks. Um because I felt that this, you know, this would be a great addition to the county and already paying off. So, but yeah, I think we're going to leave it for here today, guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please consider dropping a like down below. It really does help out the channel with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's free, doesn't cost anything, and it really does help the channel out uh, tremendously. So we'll be back with another episode, likely doing the barracks. Um, like I said, I was down between the hospital and the barracks for today, so I'm glad we got the hospital in, but we'll probably look to get the uh, the barracks um, in the next time. So we're going to start trying to up the security and probably on the live streams, we'll look to, um, build some extra guard towers maybe as well. Um, there. So until next time, my name is nerd builder. Take care. We'll see you soon.